Friendship is like wetting your pants. Everyone can see it, only you get that warm feeling. I will be talking about not only my best friend, but my closest companion, Sean Lovitz. I'll be letting you know all about his personality, one or two adventures we've been on, and what he has taught me about life. First and foremost, Sean has a great personality. He always has a positive attitude, no matter what. Whenever me or one of my friends is down, he will not hesitate to jump in and try to make us feel better. Even when we're in a bad mood like that, and we give him attitude and sass, and probably hurt his feelings, he just brushes it off and acts like nothing happened, because he knows we're going through a tough time. Sean really enjoys having fun. He takes every chance he can get to get out of his house and do something outside. He also loves animals. Sean is the first person my family calls when we need help or when we're out of town and my dog needs to be watched. He also has a dog of his own. Her name is Lily, and Lily truly does love Sean. <laughs> Our personalities coexist in perfect harmony. This explains why we're able to spend so much time together. Me and Sean rarely ever spend a day apart. Um, and our story really starts at the beginning. We were in fifth or sixth grade, we rode the same bus home. Middle of December, the bus driver <whistles> right past my stop. She stops in the next one and tells me, you can walk home. And coincidentally, it was Sean's stop. Sean's like, hey, you can come home with me. We can wait for my mom to get home and play some video games. And ever since then, we've been two peas in a pod. Every summer, we're probably together seven or eight times a week. And yes, I know, eight times a week. Um, <laughs> we always, or Sean lives on the river, so we're always either tubing, jet skiing, boating, swimming, doing a lot of water sports. One time we took his canoe and went up river to the sandbar and spent the day there. And let me tell you, it was a lot easier going up than it was coming back. Um, throughout all the time we spent together, he has taught me a few things. First of all, He's taught me how to have fun. Sean taught me how to let go of stress and just relax. He also taught me to live for the moment, forget about the past. Sean has also taught me how to be a good friend. Thanks to his example, I can help my friends in need and uh, help them with their problems. He also taught me how to step out of my comfort zone, which is a good skill to have. Sean has been there since the first time we met and is the picture perfect friend. It's pretty clear to see why I hold him to such esteem and regard him as one of my closest friends. I guess you can say he's the pain of pains. 